good morning. It's uh, a little bit cloudy, a little bit overcast. I'm absolutely shattered today. I was out, uh, I've had a very busy week. I've been out, uh, I was out with Matrix filming yesterday. I've been out doing some coaching. It's been a little bit hectic over the last few days. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been sending the great messages and, and just kind of catching up on uh, some of the older videos. Um, my upload frequency has dropped off slightly and that's because I've just been trying to catch up with lots of things from the winter. Uh, however, lots of that is behind me now. So I'm back out again today. I'm, today I'm actually visiting a fishery that I last visited for the first time um, through last winter. It was a venue where I had a silverfish session. I also had a session fishing for cold water carp. But it was very, very cold then. The, the, the water clarity was very clear. It was very wintry. And I made it a little bit um, of a bucket list thing to get back there when it was warmer, when the trees were a little bit greener, when hopefully the water was a little bit more coloured, just to see what the fishery actually looks like and that's where I'm heading today it's going to take me according to Google Maps an hour and 20 minutes to get there I'm heading down the M1 back down towards Nottingham and I'm actually out with Matrix today doing some filming I'm actually out with Ben so I don't really have to worry about the filming apart from this little bit of a vlog for you he looks after the cameras and I've just got to try and focus on catching a few fish Unsurprisingly, 7.44 on a midweek morning is not the best time to be trying to get through Nottingham. Now some of you of a certain age will remember this venue Unfortunately, this is not the venue I'm going to be fishing today. You cannot fish here anymore. This is Home Pea Point. It's the National Water Sports Centre. Lots of you from back in the 80s, 90s will remember this place. It's, uh, it's a place you don't really hear anything about now. You can't, you can't fish here anymore, unfortunately. Such a shame, but I know lots of you will remember this. What was the last match that was held here? Was it? Was it the World Championships in the 90s, noughties? I'm not quite sure, because I wasn't quite up to speed on things back then. But, you know, you forget how big this place actually is, you know. It, uh, it'd be fantastic to see this place resurrected, but, you know, unfortunately, we kind of feel that there aren't many fish in there now. We think it's been um, just kind of depleted with cormorants and things. The River Trent is just over the back there and all around here are still the lagoons and everything that you may remember. But I couldn't drive past this place and not show you Home Pier Point. It would be fantastic to see this resurrected at some stage during the future. But yeah, I'm sure lots of you have got lots of memories of this place. believe how different it looks from last time I was here I'm sure it was December when I was here really obviously wintry back then but look at this this looks beautiful now I mean it's only May at the time of filming so it's obviously not exactly the height of summer but uh, I didn't expect it looking quite like this look at that it's absolutely beautiful got permanent pegs here that one's peg four as you can see it'd be interesting to see what the water clarity is like last time I was here it's gin clear yeah there's much more color there it's not heavily colored but there is some color in it flight calm but it's great to see some anglers fishing so Ben's running running a little bit late he's caught in traffic so uh, got about 20 minutes or so I'm just gonna have something to eat and have a quick look around the lake and uh, look for a, a potential spot to fish just a little bit further down the lake now, this is where it opens out. So you can see it's much wider here. I can't believe how these rushes have grown now. This is peg, that's peg nine. 
these pegs look absolutely lovely there's a couple of bivvies down there so obviously there'll be carp hangers there that's where it opens out there and for those of you that did watch those two videos that i did last time i was here they were actually over there facing this way the first one was that right hand swim that's where i fish for some silver fish and then just further down there where there's a bit of a point uh, that's where i fish the method feeder for some cold water carp the water looks a little bit clearer down here but that's just probably because it's a bit shallower can't see any fish moving but it looks absolutely gorgeous the wind what little wind there is is actually blowing over to that point over there so that might be the potential place to go i think you can drive all the way around and park behind your pegs over there and here and obviously i want to stay away from those uh, those carp anglers i'm going to be fishing a, a couple of different ways today um it's really going to focus around targeting carp but i'm also going to be targeting anything basically two different approaches two different lines so i'm just gonna hang on another 10 minutes or so wait for ben and then we'll pick a spot for today but can't see any fish moving but it is a little bit cool but i've got to admit it looks a lot more inviting than it did back in december ben's here now so it's just a matter of swim selection They've just spent a small fortune redoing these tracks, these roads, so they're much better. Uh, they're actually still working on them now. You know, it's a, a constant battle with popular fisheries, but they've done a great job with these roads now. Found a nice double peg here, peg 44, permanent. And this is where we're going to base ourselves for today. Bit of wind blowing in, the sun's out. Well, I can't believe how it's changed. The sun's come out now, it's red hot. Poor old Ben is there in his waders. Are you warm enough in them waders? Yeah, quite warm. <laughs> I think he's gonna go paddling again out there to uh, cool himself down. It's been a really interesting session, really. It was a bit of a slow start. We've still got a little bit more to do now. So we've just broken off. Ben's just done a, a live stream on the Matrix facebook page so you know whenever they're out on days like this if uh, if that's what you'd like to see while you're at work or whatever to see what we're up to then uh, give the matrix facebook page a like and then you'll see the streams when ben's out when craig butterfield's out there when adam's out there doing any sort of filming with all the different matrix anglers it's just a nice way of checking in and letting you know what we're up to so i'm just about to change lines now I'm just about to go on the other line caught some fish out long in the open water it's going really really well so we just need to get this finished off now we've got some tips videos to do as well so we've had quite a few questions on the live stream so we're obviously going to do our best to answer them and to help people out there with rigs and all that sort of advice so we're going to crack on get some more done this sun's getting hotter and hotter and there's more and more fish cruising about out there so we're going to attack this short line now hopefully we're going to catch a few bream on that line which i'm sure we will do and uh, it'll be it'll be great to see this finished film when ben's put it together We wonder why we're missing bites. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I can't believe the fish that we caught on that short line. Ben got back in the water and he'd cooled himself down a little bit. He's just changing the batteries on the camera for now, but we're just about wrapped up. Um, but this venue has been absolutely ideal for this today. It is a day ticket water. It's called Hackett Lakes. And I think they've got a website. I'm pretty sure they've got a website. I'll put a link underneath this video to that if you want to learn more about this fishery. But this is known as the Big Lake. And it's uh, the wind's completely changed direction now. It's now how far back it's blowing right down there. You should have sat down there with the wind in your face. That's where, that's where we were going to sit this morning, but we felt it was a little bit narrower, it was flat calm, this looked like the place to be, but we certainly can't complain about how many fish have been in front of us, so that's, I think we've done well location-wise, mate, haven't we? Yeah, it's been good. It's, um, so yeah, we're just going to finish off on the method feeder now, it'll be nice to, uh, to catch something on that, just to finish off. Nice to get a big carp, there's been loads. You can't see it at the moment, because it's, there's a ripple on it, but they've been cruising about everywhere. But yeah, the access here is fantastic, as you can see, parked right behind the pegs. I mean, look at those over there, they could virtually touch their car from the from where they're sat. We've fished the method feeder in a way that can catch fish through the summer months. It's a way that we do tend to fish when fish are on the top. There's still one or two carp moving out there. It's uh, getting to early evening now, we're just about ready to go. But as you can see, I mean, it's a beautiful, it's like a summer's evening now. I bet we catch down these margins. We did see a carp actually down there earlier on, a couple of hours ago, believe it or not. A great big carp. But you could probably make out there's one or two cruising round now. It definitely would have been interesting to, to fish with a uh, possibly a pellet waggler or something today. Um, and that margin as well looks nice. But it's been a very interesting session. Looking forward to seeing this when Ben has done his magic. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll put a link directly underneath this video to that video for you it is there now for you to watch over on the matrix youtube channel and i'm sure there's a few details and a few little tips in there that are going to help you catch a few more fish this summer and it's been an absolute pleasure to fish this place it really is nice i highly recommend it and it is a day ticket water like i say so uh, and with access like this i mean it's perfect isn't it so yeah it's been a, a really interesting session